welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my empties for the month of October. Um, I know the month isn't quite over yet, but uh, it will be in a few days. So I figured I might as well just get this garbage out of here because I don't like hoarding garbage. Um, <laughs> okay, so with that being said, I um, literally just been taking stuff and dumping it into this uh, old gift bag. Um, I've got a little bit of everything. There's some makeup, there's some uh, skincare, there's shampoo, all sorts of stuff. So I'm gonna dive right in. Right now, I just kept them in a plastic bag because I really didn't want them leaking. Um, but I, um, let's see, I finished up a um, Caress body wash, the Fine, Fra Fine Fragrance Elixirs, and uh, this was the scent Tempting Whisper. I finished up the whole thing, so it was okay. I uh, got one of the uh, other ones. Uh, it's the one in the black bottle. I'm using that right now, and I like that one a lot more. So this was okay. Um, let's see. I used up a shampoo and a conditioner, uh, the Garnier Fructis Hydra Recharge. I used up both. These are actually really great. Super inexpensive, and they made my hair feel so clean and was so soft. I actually repurchased it. I have it in the shower again because I love it. it. Works on me, works on my daughter. It's the bomb. Then let's see. I finished up a um, Nestle Coffee Mate Pumpkin Spice. These are my favorite. They're not always available all year round. I mean, obviously this time of year they are and I kind of like jump on it. It's like nice, it's a nice treat to have in your coffee in the morning, you know, without feeling too bad. And it's not too bad either. And let's see, what does it say? Serving size is one tablespoon, which is quite a bit in your coffee when you think about it in retrospect. And it's only 35 calories and um, five carbs, you know, five grams of sugar. So it's not too bad, I mean, and you know, for a treat anyway, so I totally love those. Then I've been using these, love these. I don't know what the heck's in there. Oh, I got a sample in there. Um, I've been using these Kleenex tissue boxes. I don't know if anyone else has seen them. These are awesome because they have a round base. They're not like square or fat rectangles and they are so space efficient. You know, if you have a smaller vanity or a smaller nightstand or something, you know, a small space to work with, these are awesome because they're narrow and you can, you know, pop them anywhere in a corner and they're not taking up massive, you know, desk equity. So, um, another thing I used up was my Neutrogena, um, uh, makeup remover wipes. These are the, um, regular original, uh, pack. Um, uh, these are great. I only purchase these. These take off everything on me. I've never had any problems taking makeup off. Waterproof, mascara, eyeliners, my face makeup, everything. So it takes them off really great and it doesn't irritate my skin and it doesn't leave a, a weird residue. Okay, so now I finished up the sample of the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray. Um, it was all right. I mean, I um, didn't see a difference. Actually, you know what? I finished it up and I ended up getting a pimple, so the one on my cheek. So I'm kind of glad that I finished it and it's gone because I don't think it was working for me. Uh, let's see. I finished up. Uh, what is this? This is the Maybelline Age Rewind, Instant Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. Uh, used up the whole thing, completely finished it. This was good. Um, I'm going to try it again, but maybe in a different formula. I mean, it was okay. I, I have other concealers that I like better than this, but, you know, for drugstore, it's not bad. I finished up, uh, Chella Eyebrow Pencil in the color, what color is this? light brown, which is actually rather dark. It wasn't, it wasn't light. And I finished up an Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown, and I finished them to the very end. There is nothing I could scrape out of those. Um, let's see, I finished up another concealer, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this one is in the color, what is this, vanilla. This one's in vanilla. I finished it up. There is just nothing in there. I literally scraped it to the very end. Um, let's see. I finished up two of these little samples. I love these. I'm buying the full size. I'm buying it. I have to. It works so well. It left my I got so many compliments when I used the CC cream. It's um, Super Goop CC Cream Daily Correct um, Broad Spectrum SPF 35 Sunscreen. And the shade was um, or is light to medium. It's a self-adjusting shade. Um, I had two little samples, I think from Birchbox or something like that. 
finished them both up. This stuff is great. I have to get the full size of this because it is great for days when you don't want to look like you're wearing a lot of makeup or you just want to slap on a quick, you know, BB cream, CC cream, whatever it may be, um, you know, to run out, run an errand. You just want to blur out your imperfections without looking like you're just wearing a foundation and nothing else. Awesome. Love those or love that. Um, I finished up a hand cream. Uh, this is a Toka hand cream and the color is, I have no idea what that says, Bianca. And it's the one with the blue label. Uh, let's see. I finished up a sample of the Buxom Bare Essentials Mascara. Um, pretty much dried out and I used it like crazy. So I finished that up. This is a great mascara. This has an awesome wand too. I love this. It's got a nice big wand. It made my lashes full, long. I, and I, know, I usually don't like curling my lashes if I don't have to. This stuff, phenomenal. Um, let's see what else. I finished another sample of uh, CRX Anti-Wrinkling Serum. Um, let's see, can you see that? Uh, this stuff is great too. Ordering this from Birchbox. This stuff is so nice. It's very lightweight. It smelled like powder, I think. Yeah, it has like a nice powdery scent to it. Um, very lightweight. The scent doesn't linger, and it just, it really worked nice. I like, I want to see long term how well this uh, would work. And the last thing in my bag is um, I finished up an Hourglass Ambience um, Light uh, Palette. I have a slight little bit left of dim light, which I'll probably just try to scrape that out tomorrow to finish it up, but I hit pan on every single one of these. I actually have my back one, backup one already in use. Um, love that. I uh, can't say enough good stuff about this palette. I love it. I love setting my under eye concealer. I love brushing it across all three colors, you know, setting my whole foundation or going into, I like uh, Radiant Light, the one all the way on the end here this one is great when i just want to do a very light i don't want to say contour because it's not a contour but adding a little bit of um dimension to my face in the the hollows of my cheeks and around my forehead and maybe on my nose a little bit uh it's a great color because it's so soft it just diffuses out it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup so definitely um love 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 this Okay, so these are my empties for the month of October. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for coming and watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. And um, I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Ciao.